Good morning everyone. This is Vishakha. Welcome to Crypto TV. Here are the news headlines. Cryptocurrencies maintain gain. Bitcoin trades above $20,500. Voyager seeks bankruptcy court permission on withdrawals. Defiance Capital denies involvement with 3AC. Crypto venture capital investments dropped 26% in first half of 2022. Vladimir Putin bans digital payments in Russia. Stablecoin regulation ramped up across the globe. NFT artist DK's Twitter hacked over $150,000 NFT stolen. Cryptocurrencies maintained their gains Saturday morning on robust risk appetite after upbeat US company earnings, strong economic data and easing fears of a larger than expected interest Federal Reserve rate hike bolstered investors' confidence. US stocks closed sharply higher on Friday, ending several days of sell-offs with the Dow Jones Industrial Average ending 2.15% higher, the S&P 500 gaining 1.92% and the tech-focused Nasdaq Composite adding 1.79%. The S&P 500 and the Dow both snapped five-day losing streaks through all three indexes, ending below last Friday's close. Economic data released on Friday surprised to the upside with stronger-than-expected retail sales, an uptick in consumer sentiment, lower inflation expectations and cooling import prices. Bitcoin was recently seen trading at around $20,700, up nearly 1% in the past 24 hours, through marginally down in the past hour. Ether, the second biggest cryptocurrency, traded at $1,210, up nearly 2% in a similar time span. Other major altcoins traded mixed. Crypto broker Voyager Digital has sought permission from a federal bankruptcy court to honor customer withdrawals for more than $350 million held by Metropolitan Commercial Bank. Voyager said in a July 6 statement that it has about $1.3 billion worth of crypto assets on the platform and it held more than $350 million in for about benefit of customers or FBO account at Metropolitan Commercial Bank. The company also said it has claims against Three Arrows Capital exceeding $650 million. In its court filing, Voyager also is seeking authorization to carry out other financial actions. These include liquidating crypto from customer accounts with negative balances, sweep cash held in third-party exchanges, conducting ordinary course reconciliation of the customer accounts, continuing cryptocurrency staking and granting related relief. Defiance Capital has stated that none of its assets under management were raised by the bankrupt crypto hedge fund, its founders or any of its affiliates. The company said it had been materially affected and prejudiced by the recent turn of events. Earlier reports emerged that the Web3-focused venture capital firm was incubated by Three Arrows and that the two firms had jointly co-invested in several deals, including stakes in DYDX as well as Solana-based smart contract specialist Orca. In a recent statement, the venture capital fund said that its founder, Arthur Cheong, has had no access to and consequently no visibility on 3AC's financial statement or financial condition. Defiance Capital also said Cheong created the firm entirely separate from Three Arrows in 2020, eight years after the hedge fund was founded by Kyle Davis and Zusu. Following Three Arrows Capital's bankruptcy proceedings, their relationship reportedly turned sour. Distancing itself, the developers of DYDX also clarified that they were not exposed to 3AC contagion. 
Venture capital investments in crypto companies were down 26% in the first half of the year. A period hit by cryptocurrency price drops, the collapse of the Terra USD stablecoin and liquidity crisis faced by crypto lender Celsius and crypto hedge fund Three Arrows Capital. Investments in crypto companies totaled $9.3 billion in the first six months of 2022, down from the record $12.5 billion in the first half of last year. Deal flow actually increased year over year from 456 deals to 534 deals, indicating that smaller deal sizes helped drive the lower smaller overall investments. Second quarter deals totaled more than $4.2 billion, roughly flat compared to the same period last year and only down $1 billion from the first quarter. Russia President Vladimir Putin has signed a law banning digital payments across the nation, according to a policy amendment on Thursday. The law was approved by the Russian Assembly, known as the Duma, on July 8. It bans the use of digital securities and utility tokens as a means of payment for goods, services and products in Russia. The amendment adds to the previous digital asset law drafted in 2020, which banned cryptocurrencies from being used in payments. As regulators around the world continue to evaluate the risks of cryptocurrency industry and establish guidelines, stablecoins have become a top priority. The International Organization of Securities Commissions and the Bank for International Settlements Committee on Payments and Market Infrastructures issued final guidance on stablecoin practices earlier this week. The BIS guidance states that if a stablecoin acts as a means of transferring and is deemed systematically important, it must follow traditional principles for financial market infrastructures, international standards developed and after the global financial crisis. Payment systems, central security depositors, securities settlement systems, central counterparties and trade repositories must all follow the same guidelines. The guidance comes shortly after the European Central Bank released a report on stablecoins and financial stability Monday. Renowned Korean NFT animator DK Known has had their Twitter account hacked and exploited to perform a phishing attack on July 15. A hacker compromised Known's Twitter account to execute a phishing attack by posting a phishing link to a fake website. The post lured Known's followers into signing transactions from a malicious smart contract by announcing that he was launching a new exclusive NFT collection. The phishing site instructed the victims to claim the malicious NFTs, but when the victims agreed to the claim, they inadvertently approved a transaction that granted the attacker access to their wallets. From there, the attacker was able to steal valuable NFTs from the victims' wallets. The attacker ultimately pocketed about 65 NFTs from multiple victims before known could retrieve his Twitter account and delete the malicious post. The attacker seems to have been able to sell between $80,000 and $91,000 of NFTs and has since transferred the Ether proceeds to another wallet. They still hold about 50 stolen NFTs worth around $52,000. That's all in the news today. This is me, Vishakha, signing off. Have a good day.